Now, next we come to the Cockney School, which refers to a group of essayists or poets um, writing in England in the second and the third decades of the 19th century. The term came in the form of hostile reviews in Blackwood's magazine in 1817. Now, its primary target was Lee Han, but John Keats and William Hazlitt were also included in this uh, Cockney School. Only Keats could properly be regarded as a Cockney. Hazlitt was not even born in London. Now, John Scott, it, it, it's, it, it was meant in a very derogatory way, uh, as it says that the term came from in the form of a hostile reviews, uh, which was targeted, uh, its primary target was Lee Hunt, but uh, nevertheless, John Keats and William Hazlitt were also included in that. So in that, in that review, in that uh, category. Now, this hostile reviews termed these uh, co the Cockney to be a derogatory, not, not to be uh, good in good praise. Uh, so that way, this uh, William Hazlitt was not even born when this, uh, when, uh, born in England, but John Scott died after a duel over this controversy of the Cockney school. But what we, what we learn is the works of Keats and Hazlitt as uh, Hazlitt as an essayist is, of course, we if we just if we just overlook what the reviews in the Blackwood magazine are were there, we can just we can just wish nothing but praise for the works because at this uh, during that period it was it it was maybe it was one school which was now at what we call as trolling so the cockney school of poetry is something uh, where they were trolled for their writings if we can say it in that way okay so now shelley was accused in the same way of being similarly offensive politically but the reviewers excused him for his genius Nowadays, in the digital media also, we get to see a lot of trolls because Cockney was mostly uh, can be analogized in that way. So Shelley was accused of being similarly offensive politically, but the reviewers excused him for his genius means in his style of writing and of course his high birth. Means he was belonging from a very, uh, from, uh, from a prestigious family. So the reviewers excused him. But the term and the campaign against Lee Hunt and others was not a question of aesthetics. It was instead an attack on the class background of the authors and their aspirations to the highest level of the literati. And it was additionally a reaction to the cockney politics of the authors which is an analogy of today's uh, subaltern writing and the subaltern movement, maybe, if uh, at all we can term it like that. Uh, if at all we can term it like that. The term Cockney and the campaign against Hunt and others was not a question of aesthetics. So, additionally, uh, it was an attack on the class background of the authors and their aspirations to the highest level of literary. And it was additionally a reaction to the Cockney politics, Cockney politics of the authors. So, they, that, that is what I was just saying that it is, um, a, a, if it, it can be an analogy of today's subaltern movement, a marginalized the writings, the marginalized poets being coming to this. And it's not even, it cannot be analogy, it cannot be a complete analogy of, of that kind. But somehow, in order to be able to understand, it was something that these uh, that the writers they were they were they were criticized for not coming from a high class or not coming from an aristocratic class, and then they can write. Um, they, they can write and their writings 
should not be accepted. So that the Cockney, the Cockney uh, uh, politics and author, uh, on the authors was was a bit derogatory in that way. However, the poets survived this uh, critical criticism as well. Thank you.